I'm Georgie Barrett and this week we're at the Hive Connected Home as they launch Hive Active Heating 2 and a range of other apps for smart living. This is your Week in Tech. British tech firm Privita has raised over a million dollars in a seed funding round. Privita are looking to transform the way organisations use sensitive personal or private information. Japanese firm Rakuten has acquired a 100% stake in Fit.me. Fit.me's virtual fitting room helps shoppers try clothes online before they buy. It also provides insight to brands as they aim to better understand their customers, reduce the number of product returns and improve loyalty. Fulton Capital is leading a $20 million Series B investment in Credit Benchmark. The money raised will be used to expand the company's data gathering efforts, extend its intelligence platform and grow its international presence. And Entrepreneur First has raised an £8.5 million pound fund to help talented technical individuals come together and build innovative products and services. So far, 37 alumni companies have raised over $40 million and success is set to continue. Apple Pay has launched in the UK in 250,000 stores, but customers from some of the major banks will have to wait until the autumn to start using it. HSBC was listed as a launch partner but failed to get into action this week. And despite Barclays unveiling a rival range of payment wearables, it has now revealed it will be joining the Apple Pay bandwagon in the future. Apple Pay is available with NatWest, RBS and Santander. The system only works in conjunction with the iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus and the Apple Watch and has a spending limit of £20. We're at Hive Connected Homes for the launch of Hive Active Heating 2. Joining me now is Cass, Director of British Gas Connected Homes. Hi, Georgia. Tell, hello. Can you tell us a little bit about what you've got going on here today. So there was two really big announcements today. The first was we were announcing the new thermostat Hive Active Heating 2. And the second announcement we made today was that declare our intent to bring the Internet of Things or the connected home to everybody in the UK. So. We're taking it away from being the preserve of just the very wealthy or very geeky tech end of the spectrum and making it a mass market product that's available for everyone. Within five to eight years, you and I probably won't even be talking about the connected home. It will be just like your microwave or your TV. It will just be an everyday part of your home and you'll accept it. And it's getting really exciting at the moment. It's going mainstream now. Our download of the week is Babylon. Babylon is your own personal health service. Using the app, you can book a phone or video consultation with a GP by your smartphone. Not only that, you can get your prescription delivered to a pharmacy near you, monitor your own personal health, and even use a text messaging service to get advice on minor concerns. Babylon is the first service of its kind to be registered with the Care Quality Commission, and it's available to download on iOS and Android. And finally, a man was arrested this week for trying to charge his iPhone on an overground train. He was cornered by four policemen after exiting the train under the charge of abstracting electricity. Just remember, however desperately low your battery gets, electricity isn't free, folks. This has been your week in tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.